What are you doing in my compost bin? What are you doing in there? Come on, I'll show you in the garden a little bit. Getting no rest till the judgment day. Howdy partners. Doing a bit of compost box consolidation today. Over the winter, compo compost box got really full and the plastic split apart here and the whole thing turned into a basically a midden. So I cleared it all out, took out the good compost from the bottom, refixed this with plastic ties, got it all looking ship shape again. So that's compost unit number one. That's the primary unit. That's where the stuff goes in directly from the kitchen. So let's go and have a look at primary unit number two. So this is what the stuff looks like now. I've never been really good at composting. I've never managed to get it to work properly. And this little door's fallen off now. So I have to just fix this a bit. So that's what it looks like in there. Bits of plastic in there, does me head in. Kids always throw that in. And lots of eggshells, but it has composted down and it doesn't stink anymore. Um, well, I think it could go a bit further, let's put it that way. So we see the muck pile, this is all the dirt from inside the uh, inside the greenhouse and it's been out here for the last two and a half months getting frozen, getting broken down a bit by the frost and hopefully as it was becoming a bit sterile in the greenhouse Hopefully the, the elements have imbued it with some kind of life force. Now I might be just making this all up as I go along, but somehow it seems right to me that it has to be imbued with a life force and not in a hermetically sealed box all the time, otherwise it becomes unnatural, it's perverted. And I've put about three cubic metres worth of wood ash on this as well. All the ash from the fire this year has gone on there. And it seems to be looking all right, apart from that bleeding cat shit on it. That's one thing that worries me is putting that back in the greenhouse with cat shit on it and then having that on your salad, eh? So we'll see if this experiment works with the revitalised soil. And what I'll probably do is get a riddle. Oh, look at that cat shit there. What I'll probably do is get a riddle, a Nelson riddle, and um, riddle it to get rid of any small bits of crap in the roots and whatever. Well, we've still got another couple of weeks before it goes back in the greenhouse. And I'd like your opinion on something. If you could help me out, you clever chaps in YouTube land. Now, let's have another look in this compost here. And with your multiple 
experienced eyes. Would you say you could use that already? I'm not sure. Well, what I was thinking of doing is taking all that stuff out of the compost there, you see, and here we have the dry bed in the greenhouse. And I was thinking about just for that layer about that deep, just on the bottom here, perhaps digging this out even a little bit and just layering on the bottom with that compost from the bin and, uh, and then putting that other soil on top so that when the plants grow they can make, the roots can make their way down and take some of the nutrients from that stuff underneath. What do you think? I'm relying on you guys because I don't know what I'm doing. Even in here there's some cat shit there. Bloody hell. Oh, I hate it. Might even take this this earth out a bit here as well. It's just bone dry, isn't it? I'll take a bit out. We'll see. I'm sorry, I'm a bit distracted at the moment because I'm just keeping an eye open up there because my neighbours saw some big trees down and uh, when people saw big trees down, I've just got to stop and watch. So it doesn't look too bad, this stuff really, does it? Apart from the roots in there, which were, like I say, I'll riddle them out. So you can feel the springtime is coming. I can, there's much more light in the air and uh, I like to think of it as um, more photons hitting us, you know, this, this whole atmosphere is full of photons and every day there's more and more photons, these little quanters of energy coming down and banging into these bits of soil, banging against air molecules, banging against water molecules, banging against the trees and the plants and imparting those little quanters of energy very gently into the material that we call Earth and thus warming it all up. So it's nice to get philosophical in the garden and look behind this world and see the other world which is behind this world which we can't see. I like to think that the garden's probably it's just strapping on its uh, running shoes now and sort of easing its feet into the starting blocks. But the race is not ready to go yet, but it will be soon. So I don't know what to plant in the greenhouse this year. I'm not doing tomatoes in there anyway. I'm gonna do tomatoes outside this year. Right, I'll just have to have a break because I want to go and have a nosy up there, see what the uh, neighbor's doing. Yeah, my nosy bugger me. Trying to clean up the cat shit a bit here. Not just our cats, it's other cats come in the garden and shit in here. It's disgusting. But our cats get the uh, dried cat food. So it's not so bad. It's still not a nice job. Not nice at all. Hey, just to think, eh? Just have your breakfast or just had your dinner and then watch a YouTube video of someone collecting cat shit. Now we're living, aren't we? Here we all work while the white folks play Shoveling that shit from dawn till sunset Getting no rest till the judgment day Yep, it's not all bare and skittles in the garden Sometimes you've got to do these quite disgusting jobs 
but it's all part of the uh, game. And anyone who tells you any different is talking rubbish. So I should go and get. Oh. So I should go and get the saw out now and saw up all these bits and pieces of the old Christmas tree and these scraps of wood and stuff. Just generally cleaning up before before spring springs. So if you could tell me what you think about putting that compost in as a sort of ground layer in the, in the greenhouse and just leave any ideas in comments below, see what you think. Hopefully the, uh, this system with two compost bins, with the uh, primary compost bin with the fresh stuff going in there then taking out the half rotted stuff and putting it into another bin will work a little bit better. We'll just see how it goes. So shall I go and get my saw out and get all this mess cleaned up as well? I suppose I will. Okay then I'll carry on with my work and wish you all a great day. Don't plan taters and he don't plan cotton. And those weren't plantin as soon forgotten But old man river he keeps on rolling along